Next is Dawn Steele, and today was a day when she was in need of some reassurance. Last night, Dawn finished in the bottom three for the first time. She's been struggling to regain her confidence ever since. You did well tonight, Anne. Not. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's not what it's about though, is it? No. Straight. I think Dawn was very confused about why she was in the bottom three in that she gave one of her best performances last night. Why do birds suddenly appear? I'm probably one of the weakest out of the, all the ghettos, you know, so... Dawn, that's not true. Your tone is fantastic. Mm. You have an amazing tone. They long to be To try and lift her spirits, Dawn receives a phone call from her mum. And just remember, you're as, you're as good as anybody. So just keep that in mind. Okay? Yep. Right. Okay. Just say um, that to yourself in a mantra. <laughs> yeah, as good as <laughs> she has got a great Karen Carpenter sound, it has to be said. But whether she really is able to pull that off tonight, I'm not sure. How come mums can always do that? My mum can do exactly the same. Now, you, you rang her for a bit of advice. What advice did she give you? Um, well, one bit of advice uh, was just to be confident, but also to stop eating crisps. Because she says every time she turns on the telly, I'm opening a pack of crisps. <laughs> Girls got to eat. Now, on a more serious note, obviously, yesterday, you were in the bottom three. So just how important is this performance tonight to you? Um, yeah, it's quite important, obviously, but, you know, it, all of it, it doesn't matter, and that's what I've learned. It doesn't matter. That's not why we're here. We're here to lose money, and so. And are you feeling confident now? Um, yeah, we, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. you are. You're feeling confident, and you are going to stride confidently up those stairs and onto that stage and be fabulous. And there's an awful lot riding on this performance. It could be the difference between staying and going. Singing for your votes and for her survival with Close to You, it's Dawn Steele. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Why do stars fall down from the sky every time? Walk by just like me, they long to be close to you. On the day that you were born, the angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So they sprinkled moon dust in your hair and golden starlight in your eyes of blue. That is why all the girls in town follow you all around. Just like me, they long to be close to you. Everybody here seemed to enjoy that. Everyone in the audience was giving their little la la la. Uh, let's start with Leslie this time. You do have a beautiful voice. You have a lovely tone. But for me, that song, I don't think that song suited it. I'm sorry to have to say Why? that. It, it, because it's a difficult song to sing. We've all got Karen Carpenter in our ears, and I've tried to put her out of my ears. I think it's partly to do with the fact it's an ascending phrase that you've got to sustain right through to the top and not kind of pull away from the top notes, which I think you did a little bit tonight. Um, it just didn't work for me tonight. I'm okay, sorry. obviously you're hearing something completely different from what we're hearing in here. Uh, Carrie? Well, actually, Patrick, on this occasion, I totally agree with what Leslie's really? saying. Yeah, yeah, I do. I think that um, 
Dawn did manage those bottom notes, but the top one, every time you got for the top ones, the tuning went slightly. But it's something we can work on, and you Definitely. have got a lovely tone, so Definitely. I just want to affirm that. But Leslie is Definitely. right tonight on that. Okay, yeah. uh, let's go to work Craig. On it. Work on it. Absolutely nothing in that worked for me tonight. That sounded like you couldn't sing. And I know you can sing. That's the odd thing about it. Really peculiar performance. This Very is, odd. Uh, I'm, Richard, I'm, uh, I'm stunned here. I'm listening. I, I'm sort of baffled. I think we were all listening to a different number there because I thought yeah. she came on, struck the notes and got them perfectly right at the very start and continued all the way through. So I'm, I mean, I'm perplexed that Leslie and Kerry have finally come together on an issue like this. And, and you did mention Karen Carpenter, and actually I heard Karen Carpenter singing that song, Believe It. She was still on this earth then, back in, in 1974. All I think I could say to the other three who've just commented just now is I'd like to use a phrase from an old Carpenter song. I think they need to call occupants of interplanetary craft. <laughs> that was great. Well done, honestly. It wasn't a lot okay. of Richard disagrees with our judges and agrees with me. There we go. Did you agree with this? Pick up the phone for Don. Okay, there's still three more celebrities to rock this joint. If you haven't called yet, then maybe one of them can get your vote. Remember, by voting, you'll also raise cash for comic relief.